Check this out, guys. I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> Look at all the play that I have back here. The whole rear end will wiggle around. Now, this is, let me be very clear, this is 100% my fault. Um, I was, if you watched my channel, you saw we were doing a drifting video in the garage. Um, one of the clips that's not in the video, because that's part of the magic of video editing, is drifting out of the garage on the power hard, maybe, I don't know, 15 miles an hour or so, straight into the wall. Um, truck was sideways, came in, plowed the wall really hard. And so what obviously has happened here, if you look at it, is we have stretched those rod ends. They're not broken. To Losi's credit, to Losi's credit, they are not broken, but they're stretched. So I need to replace both ends of this link. You cannot buy just those plastic ends. You have to buy the whole link. Turns out, here's the part number. 254049. Comes with two rear links and the rod ends and the screws that help hold them all together. So I need to assemble one of these and then we need to figure out how to get this shaft off. What we can see here is to get this out is actually, this part's pretty easy, right? One screw, screw comes out, this end comes loose. The other side, however, slightly different situation. You can see that the screw is on this side it looks like it has a captured nut over here so if we could come through the side of the truck and get that that would be awesome but look at this angle you can't get in there because the body is in the way you can't get it in from the bottom you can't get it in from the top so for the first time for me anyway we get to take the body off the truck now the body off the truck does not look too difficult uh, based on, I think I saw Claude Busted do this already, so tire comes off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve from the other side. And then this whole outside chassis, this whole outside body, sorry, will come off. Check it out, one body off. Now careful with these little black grommets, little black screw uh, protectors, those do come out. So you want to be careful, about half of them came out with the screws, half of them stayed. Now that's a unique look for the truck, check that out. We still have our mud guards up here, those stay in. Looks like with one of my hits, I'm guessing this, I'm guessing that's not supposed to be there. Is that broken or is that, no, that's just, that's just there, yeah, those are supposed to be in a hole. Hmm. One of those crashes I did. You gotta put that back in. Both sides in the same way. Alright, now we should have easy access in there to that screw. There it is. Two and a half millimeter. And out it's gonna come. Awesome. Both screws out. Honestly, pretty easy. This one just popped out. And then you can push and the whole link comes out. Super easy. Now, what you can see is they actually provide some nice flats here on the side. So it looks like you can fairly easily grab that. Stick your wrench in. Ooh, man, look how, look how elongated that is. I can't believe that. Look how, it looks like that ball's about to come out any second. I'm going to go ahead and get another pair of pliers. Feels like it's about to pop out, so I'm going to do this. Get it started getting it loose. And with that... That rod end comes all the way off. Now you notice the new rod ends do not come with the balls. You can see the difference between the wrecked version and the not wrecked version. So we're going to poke the ball out. And poke it into the new side. 
There we go. Ta-da! This rod looks, this uh, thread looks like it's actually pretty strong in there. This is why I decided not to take out the one on the other side. So all you have to do is just, you're starting new threads in this plastic. And all we're doing is just screwing the new one on. One new rod end. Now one tip is you will see that these are lined up based on the original uh, rod. That is how they were. They were lined up like this. They weren't 90 degrees, something like that. That would give you fits when you go to put it back in the vehicle. So now, this is pretty simple. Put it right back like it came from. The rods look the same on both ends. It looks like this is completely interchangeable side by side. It doesn't matter. So, there you go. That's how you do it. The link is back in. Look at that. The truck doesn't have all that wobble anymore. It's nice and solid again. I bet that'll make it even feel like it drives better, not having all that weight sloshing around up there uncontrolled. So that is good. Now, the truth is, I didn't need these rods. Look how beefy those things are. If you have broken one of these, you have done something serious. Really, the only thing I needed out of this were these rod ends. So, the next quest... <coughs> The next quest is going to be able to look and see, can we just source these anywhere? Are there some aluminum ends just that with the right thread pitch, right diameter for the ball that we can that we can use? Does RPM make a rod end for something that just happens to match this? I'm going to try to check through the catalog, try to see what it is that makes that tick. So. Uh, save us a bunch of money instead of having to buy the metal and these ends all together to just buy the independent pieces. So that's that. Obviously still need to get the body back on, but I'm going to do a couple other things, clean it up and all that. So that is the end of this. I hope that was helpful for you guys.